My name is Kenan Edwards. I'm the librarian at Heritage High School. I do all sorts of things as a maker, but mostly facilitate at the school what goes on there. So our makerspace does a lot of things at Heritage. Uh, the main thing is it allows kids to experience new things that they may never have experienced before. That's kind of our motto, is experience is education. We have things like an Oculus Quest virtual reality headset and just the mere interaction with that, now they've been exposed to VR. Uh, and that goes with all of our tools. Um, we have 3D printers, 3D pens, those are very popular, uh, Cricut cutters. It cuts more than just vinyl. It cuts paper and fabric and wood and leather. Um, I'd say the stickers and the decals are the most popular. We just acquired a laser cutter engraver. Um, so I think that will be extremely popular next year. Uh, we have Arduino and robots um, and then everything crafting. So cardboard and sewing and all that. Um, and the, the object is to allow students to express themselves however they choose to. And then there's a bunch of added benefits to having a makerspace in a school. We can make plaques. So we just had a student score his 1,000th goal in basketball. So we're making him a plaque. We decorate the school. We can use it uh, to make manipulatives for teachers. We can 3D print. Uh, a good example would be like a volcano in the inside workings. The Makerspace has a lot of added benefits to a school other than just letting kids explore. If a student has like a science fair project or a history day project, they can use the vinyl cutter to design their board or they can use a 3D printer to print props for their project. And so it enhances all their projects and allows them to uh, go above and beyond. And what surprises me is how talented the kids are and how fast they pick things up. You know, I, I show them the basics, but then I cut them loose on it. And these kids will produce their own stuff like in two days. And it'll be pretty impressive. One kid, it was a football player, and he designed almost like a little trophy to to remind himself of his time at, at Heritage in the football. And it was a name placard with his number, the school lo mascot logo, um, his name, and then like a jersey and stuff. And I thought that, that looked really nice. One kid, he picked up the doodle pen so fast and he was making 3D objects. And I, I have a picture and it's a airplane. It's a 3D airplane, just with the pen. And that was pretty impressive. So this year there's not as much going on. Our future goal would be to be open at all hours, even a little later after school to allow students to come in. Um, the main challenge with our makerspace is that there's not necessarily time built into the schedule for students to come. So we have to um, be creative and find ways to allow students to use the makerspace. That's our main goal right now.